Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I just got something in the mail. I wanted to show it to you. It says to Scott, have fun. From Steve. Steve is from the UK, Hearn Bay in the UK. Let's see what he sent me. He's a chalk artist. I mean, he's not a chalk artist. He's a um, chalkboard artist. And he does lots of signs too. And he's done some window painting too, but whoa, check these out. It's a whole box of them. There's tons. There's tons and tons. <laughs> oh man. Look at it. And it's got this big wide nib on it. Check that out. It looks like a it looks like a, a razor almost. It's so big. I have to figure out how to get these off though. Oh there we go. And I guess you push on them. But uh, I'll have to make a video using these. Hey thanks Steve. <laughs> You're awesome. Say hi to Molly. Hi, Molly. <laughs> hey guys, well I posted this video before of Steve, and uh, but this time I wanted to show some of his work. He does fantastic work on these uh, chalkboards. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. And uh, here's a picture of him working away. Does the A-frames too. And uh, this is a big part of his business, is doing the chalkboards. and just does some of the best sign writing work you can imagine. Just beautiful. But uh, he, uh, he lives in uh, Hearn Bay. It's a seaside town in southeast uh, England. Here's a picture of him with some of his work behind him. And uh, he sent me something a couple of years ago. He sent me a bunch of beer. <laughs> and. Uh, Oh man, it was so good. It was so good. I love IPA. I haven't had a drink in a while, but I do love it. He does uh, window painting too. He does some window painting work. And here he's actually doing the little snowman out of my introductory book. And then he's got some stuff on the side. He talks about me, mentions me. That's really cool. But I'm, I'm, he does this with those, uh, with those markers. And uh, he does just fabulous work. But he's a, he's a great sign writer and he does awesome characters too. Here's some more of his, uh, his other stuff. It's chalkboard work, but it's just so beautiful. And the illustrations he does. And look at this one. Oh my gosh. Look at that St. Patrick's Day lettering. So beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to... I've got the markers. I've got one of the blue ones and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Make, I made this video of them, but they're called uh, Posterman, Zig Posterman Biggie. I think the 30 is the width of that one. Let me see. Let me look over here and see if there's a bigger one. Just a second. Oh yeah, here's a... This is a 50. So, there's different sizes. But you just daub them, you know, and... Uh, and then the ink comes out, or whatever it is, some type of pigment. And uh, it's a lot like using a brush. I found it to be really, really similar um, to the poly brush. But you don't have to dip it back in the paint. But here I'm doing some real time stuff. And you can see they're pretty quick. You just have to be pretty deliberate in your strokes. But uh, this doesn't look uh, unlike when I'm using the poly brush. I work the same way, basically. This is my first time using them, too. I, m I imagine if I used it even more, I'd probably get a little bit quicker at it. Just like anything, you know, a new medium, you get faster at it. But it seems to be working just fine. And it goes for pretty long without daubing it some more. So that's something else I'd have to get familiar with. This would be great for like show cards or like, you know, other types of signs. I just wish I had gotten a different color. That blue doesn't stand out a lot. I think if it was black or white, it would have been a little bit more, it would have been more contrast, but oh well. 
and you can get these thick and thin lines depending on how you turn it, just like with the poly brush or even a flat or the, the Mac 162. So here I got the GoPro. I'm going to go in a little closer so you can kind of see how I'm holding the brush. You don't really, I mean not the brush, holding the marker. You kind of don't want to move your hand, you're moving your arm just like if you were doing brush work. It's the same idea. This would look good if it was outlined in white. And I'm not really sure if you can, I guess once it's dry, I'm not sure if you can go over with different colors or if it will mix in with or not. That's something I'll have to experiment with. Look at that B, that came out pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty sharp. And because the B is kind of bigger than the A, I went back and made the A bigger. They're pretty quick and they're pretty sharp. I'm just daubing it a little. These are really cool. I got a whole box of them. <laughs> So I'm going to have to play with them and try some other stuff. Hey, thanks, Steve. I really appreciate it. I'm going to have to send you guys something cool now. <laughs> but yeah, it keeps on, keeps on going. I'm really curious how long the ink will last. I should do like a whole alphabet. Pretty cool. Thanks again, Steve. Hi, Molly. And I will talk to you guys later. Oh, I wanted to show you here. It says they're waterproof, but I tried it and it didn't seem like it was. So we'll have to check out that more. Anyway, see you later. Bye.